guys, welcome back. So today we've got this BA S4 in for a full stage two upgrade package from APR, including the ultra charger. Um, but before we get into it, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, also notification bell, and then you won't miss when any of our new videos go live. So yeah, the full stage two upgrade package with the ultra charger. Um, so stage two from APR includes um, the smaller supercharger pulley, um, the ECU software, but then on this car, we're also doing the um, crank pulley, so basically allowing the supercharger to create as many revolutions as possible and then also doing the um, larger throttle body and intake upgrade on this car so literally making the most amount of power possible with the standard supercharger i'm um, also doing the tcu software to accompany this so i'm um, having the extended rev limit smoother shifting faster shifts all that stuff um, also at the same time going to be doing the APR heat exchanger so the heat exchanger that cools the um, coolant that flows through the um, supercharger to keep the charge temperatures as cool as possible also at the same time going to be installing a Multec exhaust system um, with some Cerakote black tips and Bilstein B12 kit so lowering the suspension improving the road holding I'm going to be doing a fast road uh, realignment also we've got some ECS tuning carbon fiber um, parts so we've got front splitter rear splitter some side blades and some other little bits as well um, so a little bit later on in the video we're going to be comparing the um, this upgrade with the ultra charger compared to the other stage twos um, stage ones with TCU without TCU um, so you can see what all the differences are with the tuning upgrades for the three litre TFSI also comparing the exhaust sound standard versus what it is now um, and then also we will be showing you the difference in ride heights as well so the next step is to get the car on the dyno see what it's making on the baseline figures and then get the car in the workshop and show you all the parts so see you in a little bit Okay, so we've got the BA S4 on the ramps behind us. We started to um, disassemble it, remove some of the standard parts ready to install, obviously, the upgrades. Uh, we've had it on the dyno this morning to see what the standard power output is. So you would see that um, earlier on in the video. So we'll compare that later on in the video um, compared to, obviously, once we've installed all the upgrades. So obviously, the headline thing with this car is that it's going to APR stage two with the ultra charger system. Um, so we're just gonna walk you through that now. So obviously, um, normal part of going to APR stage two is to do the ECU software, the TCU software, and then the supercharger pulley. Um, the idea behind um, installing the supercharger pulley is to basically per every single engine RPM is to make the supercharger spin more or do more revolutions, which will then make it make more boost. If it can make more boost, then it can make more power. So the supercharger pulley by itself makes it spin about 10% faster. And then we'll also be installing the um, crank pulley as well. And this will make the supercharger spin around 15% faster. So with these two both installed, you're getting around about a 25% increase in supercharger speed um, per every single RPM. So obviously it's gonna be creating much more boost. And then with the ECU software, it's obviously gonna optimize um, the ECU for use with the higher boost, so it can make more power and torque. And then the um, other restriction we're basically gonna to remove today is the factory throttle body and the intake tubes as well. So on these cars, the um, factory throttle body is around 20% smaller um, than the supercharger inlet, which obviously creates a massive restriction. So you can gain um, quite a bit of power here. So APR quite on the website around about, I think it's about 30 horsepower gain or something like that. So it's a big, big gain. So this um, throttle body in the pipework itself is around 5% larger than the supercharger inlet, which means that there's basically gonna be no restriction there whatsoever. Um, so obviously with the um, supercharger crank pulley, the supercharger is gonna be making more boost. And then with the um, throttle body, obviously all that air is gonna be able to make its way into the supercharger to allow it to make the most out of the boost. Um, other things we'll be doing today, um, installing the um, APR heat exchanger for the um, supercharger coolant circuit. So this is basically, um, it's a air to water system as opposed to an air to air. So with air to water, you've got um, a heat exchanger in the supercharger where coolant basically goes through. 
and then that exchanges heat with the compressed air to basically remove the heat um, or reduce the charge temperatures, which obviously increases power and torque. Um, problem with these cars is the factory heat exchange is quite small. And um, sort of like if you do sort of like two, three, four, five um, pulls on the dyno or on the road on a hot day, and you start to progressively get less and less power as the supercharger coolant system starts to saturate with heat. The idea behind installing this larger um, supercharger um, heat exchanger is basically to allow it um, more capacities to basically be able to deal with that heat to basically reduce the charge temps and keep them consistently cooler. Um, so it makes a big difference, it's about 140% bigger than the factory item in terms of surface area, so it's a massive upgrade. Um, at the same time, obviously installing a Multitech exhaust system here. Um, this particular customer with the Cerakote tips. Um, so we'll show you the um, exhaust sounds standard compared to the uh, Multitech exhaust system. And then we've got a Bilstein Pro Kit as well, so it's B12 Pro Kit. So it's got the Bilstein B8 dampers, um, which are like a shorter in height damper and uh, obviously like focused for sort of like fast road and sort of like mild um, track use. And then also an IBAC Pro Kit. So you get a IBAC Pro Kit with this. So it's about 25 mil lower at the front and about 20 mil lower at the back. Um, it's not ride height adjustable. So um, the ride height you, you get uh, once you've installed the kit is what it's basically going to be so uh, but yeah it's something to install if you want no fuss with adjusting the ride height or anything like that so yeah going to get all these parts fitted to the car um, get on the dyno a little bit later on and we'll talk you through the graphs
Okay, so we're on the dyno after installing the API ECU software, the TCU software, the Miltec exhaust system, the API top and bottom pulley, and the rest of the hardware. Um, so we're just going to compare the Ron Road graphs, what it arrives with versus what it's leaving with us now behind me. Um, so the blue lines is, are the foot pounds of torque, and then the red lines, the horsepower, the dotted lines being what it arrived with, and then the solid lines, what it's leaving us with now once all the upgrades have been installed. So, and the car arrived around 447 horsepower at peak and 385 foot-pounds at peak. And it's now leaving us with just over 507 horsepower at peak and 450 foot-pounds at peak. So a massive um, improvement at peak, um, but also underneath the curve as well. So in terms of the maximum gains, you're gaining around about 70 foot-pounds of torque in the mid-range. And then at the top end, you're gaining around um, sort of 50, 60 horsepower. Um, and as you can see by the curves, there's gains absolutely everywhere. Um, so this particular car is also making the power that it arrived with this morning um, far earlier in the rev range. So it's making that peak power of 447 horsepower, what it arrived with at um, 1800 RPM sooner. So everything after that is just pure gains basically. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then please give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to watch other videos of ours that YouTube thinks you'll like, then click up here. If you'd like to watch some other videos that we have in the same playlist, then click here. And obviously if you enjoyed the video, then we really appreciate if you gave us a subscription. Um, and then obviously you'll be updated when other videos of ours go live. And you can do that quite easily by clicking here. Hope to see you soon.